Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. When I was a kid, my grandfather had piled up hundreds of newspapers against one wall of our basement. Every once in a while, I'd bring some upstairs and cut pictures out of them. But the best thing that I saved were these Sunday newspaper comic sections from the 60s. The oldest of the seven that I have is from January 2nd, 1966, and the newest is from December 14th, 1969. There's over 30 different comic strips in these. Let's take a look. First, we have Peanuts featuring good old Charlie Brown. Seems like someone was always saying, bleh. Prince Valiant, which was about King Arthur and Native Americans. They'll do it every time, which was kind of a social observation satire strip. The mostly unfunny Priscilla's Pop. The classic Beetle Bailey, which is very timely here, showing the hippies who won't join the army. Here's the forgotten Captain Easy. They're running a dating service on a movie projector. We've got Brenda Starr, reporter, Blondie, the classic Nancy. <clears throat> Your anus is 1,606,000,000 miles. Family Circus, Little Orphan Annie, Dennis the Menace, the nonsensical Out Our Way. Bugs Bunny was in the comics. Listen to this. <laughs> Then we had Tizzy, which was about the crazy world of teenage girls. Carrie Drake, which seems to be about go-go girls fighting. Batman and Robin was the only superhero comic in the paper. Children's Tales, which were comic versions of kids' books. The world was always in turmoil in Terry and the Pirates, faced with the threat of red Chinese nuclear buzz bombs. The Jackson Twins. Daddy, meet the dregs. Wait till you hear them play. You could always count on Yogi Bear for some Native American humor. Ferdinand, there he is looking at the girls again. Archie was one that I really loved. I never liked Dondi though. The Mexican strip, Gordo. Here's the first ever example of the sagging your pants fashion. The always popular Dick Tracy, Andy Cap, The Born Loser, Pogo, Mary Worth, which seems like it was a drama about overdue library books. The two Steves, we've got Steve Canyon with an LSD reference, and Steve Roper featuring the mentally disturbed girl. Winthrop, Off the Record, Lil Abner, Tumbleweeds, Thump, Pock, and Barry's World. One comic that wasn't in any of the full papers that I'd saved, but that I used to cut out of the paper, was Laugh-In. Laugh-In was based on the late 60s TV series, and it was usually a series of groovy jokes. The other great thing about these old comics is the vintage advertisements. Woolworths had everything for your pets. Save $1.11 on BB Parrots and win a puppy. At Kelly and Cohen, get a Philco big screen color TV and a portable phonograph for just $299. Check out the most modern canister sweeper available. There's nothing artificial about the taste of Sprite. With a cool vent retract a wall, your walls go up and down at the flick of your fingers. Look, it's the original Saturday Night Fever stance. It's new SpaghettiOs with sliced Franks, the greatest invention since the napkin. You'll save a bundle with this seven cents off coupon. Busy Beaver would give you 600 free plaid stamps with any remodeling job. At the Wrigley Zoo, we find out that even elephants love to chew gum. You could get a Ringer washing machine for only $77, including a six-month supply of Tide detergent at Maysterns. We bought all they had! It's a Dinette Riot! <laughs> we also had Bugs Bunny in the Kool-Aid Fun Day News. Question, how do I keep a four-year-old sister from drinking all my Kool-Aid? Answer, trade her in for a four-year-old puppy. A four-year-old dog wouldn't be a puppy anymore. You could pick up a box of Tosta Pizza in your grocer's freezer section. And look at some of these great toys you could get from your local thrift drug store. Everyone needs a Coca-Cola dispenser that takes a bottle of Coke and releases it into doll-sized plastic glasses. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the 60s newspaper comic sections today. If you did, don't forget to click the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.